We all know why we're here. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'll start us off then. I bet five dollars that Denki failed our last test. Oh please, it's Denki. I'll raise you. Ten dollars that he fails, but that he also cries when he gets the results back. Why do you guys always choose to bully Denki? I've been tutoring him. I put down five that he's gonna pass. Oh, Chaco, are you gonna put a bet in? Um, no, I, I, I'm not a fan of betting money. And what do we have here? Nothing, um, just, you know, gossip. Um, yeah, Aizawa, we're good rule-abiding students. That being said, how much are you willing to throw in? Nothing, because I've graded Denki's previous test, and I know that would be unfair, but what else are you betting on? There goes five dollars and three hours of tutoring. Atta boy, take a seat. I knew you were my favorite teacher for a reason. We're betting on what Kirishima's sexuality is next. I'll go first, because I'm sure of this one. Ten dollars says Kirishima's gay. Mina, you might want to get your gaydar checked because that man is bisexual. I'm putting 15 bucks on that. I'm with Mina. Five dollars that he's gay. I would have thought that he's straight. What do you think, Mr. Aizawa? If he's the red gay, who's the blue gay? Guys, we're back with the snacks. They also had chocolate on sale. What are we betting on now? We're betting on Kirishima's sexuality. There's two votes for gay, one for bisexual. And how are you guys planning on proving that? She's right. We can't just wait for him to get into a relationship. I know who to ask. Hey, Baku bro. What? So like, would you happen to know Kirishima's sexuality? How the f would I know? You woke me up for this? Well, you guys are just like really close, so we thought you would, you know. Okay, but he can still help us figure this out. Does he cuff his jeans? Mm, no. I think they're a little too baggy to do that. Well, what kind of music does he listen to? The Red Riot Christmas album. Okay, none of this information is useful. What are some things that he likes? He just likes things that are manly. I don't know. All that tells us is that he's not straight. We're back where we started. How does that prove that he's not straight? I mean, what else would tell us? Um, has he ever, like, tried to kiss you or? It's not gay to kiss the homies. What kind of hair dye does he use? Mmm, I think it's called, like, panic something. Like, manic, manic panic? He's bisexual. Mr. Aizaw, how the f*** did that tell you he's bi? Since we can't find a way to prove the bet, everybody just take back your money, I guess. I already told you he's bi. Mr. Aizaw, you still haven't shown any evidence on why that's true. So unless you'd like to share with us now... That's what I thought. Anybody else have any new bets? I've got one, and a way that we can prove it. Let's hear it, Skull Candy. Hey, I told you to stop calling me by headphone names. Anyways, I talked to Denki and he said that Tokoyami plays obnoxious music while he's in the shower. So I say we bet on what kind of music he listens to. Beats by Dre? That's a great one! I put $5 down that he listens to My Chemical Romance. He's more cultured than that. $5 that it's Pierce the Veil. I don't know any of these bands, so I'm, I'm not gonna place a bet. I had to listen to this music because of my internship. $2 that it's Sleeping with Sirens. 10 bucks, Carrie Underwood. Country, Mr. Aizawa? No. Did you all forget that I live in the boys' side of the dorms? I mean, yes, but also there's no way. Hey, Jiro, you gotta check. Fine. Bring me that money. Cheater. Well played. Glad I didn't bet. I think I've got a bet. Let's hear it, anti-gravity. Okay, so Midoriya says that Bakugo calls him Deku because it means useless, but do you think Bakugo actually knows his real name? He's got to. They're childhood friends. Mm, I don't know about that, because think about it. He doesn't know any of our names. He just gives us nicknames. Jiro's right. He always calls us by nicknames, so I'm going to take this bet a little bit further. Five dollars that he knows less than five people's names in our class. No, that, that can be right. We've been in class with him forever. Five dollars that he knows at least ten. Two more on five names or less. This is Bakugo we're talking about. Ten dollars that it's only three. Wait, so it's the whole class now? Then I'm going to put my two dollars on ten. He's got to know at least half the class, right? All right, so who's gonna wake him up this time? You can't see it, but I am touching my nose. Miss Yao Yorozu. Shoot. Bakugo. Bakugo, we need your help in confirming another bet. No. So I'm gonna just hold up a picture and you have to tell me who's in it. The real names, not the nicknames that you've made up for us. That person's not in our class. Um. That right there is a sh hair. No, his real name. Nope, that is his official title. Sh hair. Um. Tanjiro Kamapopo. I don't care. For every correct name you give, I'll take off a day of detention. Who's next? Um. Oh, that's that gay dude, right? Ah, your mama. That one. Yep. What about this? That's easy. That's Deku. That's his hero name. Midoriya. Do you know his first name? 
His name is Izuku Midoriya. His favorite food is katsudon, and he is the same birthday as that character from Bleach. Are we finished? Can we be done? Okay, but we've hung out. So, Bakugo, what's my name? Raccoon. You bitch. No, Mina. Bakugo, what's my name? Toadie. She's a frog! Okay, well, what's my name? Who said that? Okay, well, what about me? Your name's Uraraka. Do you not? We fought before. Do you guys have amnesia or something? Like, why do you need me to tell me your names? You know what? I don't even want him to guess mine. I'm starting to think that maybe he doesn't actually care about being in detention. Whatever, extras. You should be grateful I even learned some of your names. So how many was that? Midoriya? Uraraka? That's two. Um, three if you count Ayoyama. I think it was close enough. What, Denki? Five minutes ago, you said his name was Power Pack. Are you serious? So now we have another bet that we can't solve. I say, since he still said less than five, I should get the money. But the bet wasn't that he said less than five, it was that he knew less than five. And he obviously knows more than five names from that phone call with Denki. Sorry guys, I really thought we could prove that one. Okay, well what are we gonna bet on now? I've got a bet, but you're not gonna like it. Oh god. I say we bet on what's in Mineta's room. I don't know if I wanna know. Oh god. Mina! Okay, and who's gonna prove that? Because I'm not going in there. Oh. That could work. We're just gonna say sorry now. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. I don't- I don't wanna see that. <sighs> Mina, since you made the bet, why don't you start us off? Alright. Five dollars that he's got a picture of one of us in his room. Ew. Yeah, I believe that. Two more dollars on that bet. Ew. I'm gonna bet three dollars that his bed's not made. I don't wanna- Ew. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. Two dollars that it's just like movie posters all over his wall. Five dollars that he's got a stash of nudie magazines underneath his bed. I don't really want to think about this for any longer. Two dollars for the movie posters. I don't care. <laughs> Bullsh**. Mineta. Yes. Somebody stole Momo's hair curler again, so I'm searching every room to see if I can find it. Give me a second. Okay. Come in. Part of the intrusion. Oh my god, why is it so dark? He's been gone a long time. He's gotta search the whole room top to bottom, so... I wonder if the shock killed him. Finally, what's in his room? The worst thing he had in his room was an X-rated poster of Midnight from before the Hero Commission put requirements on costumes. And don't worry, I confiscated it. Ew, how old is she? I thought the Hero Commission banned those. What about the movie posters? Was his bed made? His bed was made and there was no posters except the Midnight one on his walls. Dang, he doesn't seem like somebody who'd make their bed. So nobody won the bet, again. But, technically, Mina and Jiro were correct because he did have a class photo on his desk. Oh, now I feel kind of bad. And I would have been correct, but before I could get through the door, he moved his nudie magazines to the closet, so... I mean, I still found them, but they weren't under his bed. Never mind. A win's a win. Give me the money. Do you remember when all the boys showed us the rooms? Yeah, so? We can't do any bets on what theirs looks like because we've seen them. But you remember what Edith's looked like, right? Mm, it was covered in books. Yup, so I bet five dollars that Ida has at least one piece of fan fiction in his room. Oh my god, two bucks on that. There's no way, he's so uptight. Two bucks and he doesn't. I'm with Haki Kure, three bucks that he doesn't. Yeah, but how are we gonna do this? Have Aizawa pull the curling trick again? That took forever for him to search the room and Ida's has so many books. <clears throat> what is that? First of all, two dollars on Ida doesn't have any fan fiction. He's too much of a square. Second of all, this is a camera that shows that the boys are hanging out in the common area tonight. Oh, nice. So we can just sneak in and search ourselves. We have cameras. The school has been attacked twice. Of course we have cameras. Jiro just needs to make her bed and then we can go. Five dollars that he does. I mean, come on, guys. Where's the light switch? Oh, everybody in, everybody in. Ground rules. Don't move anything. And if you have to, put it back when you're done. That's a lot of books. Hage, Kuri, and Mina will take the far one. Su and Jiro, you take this one. Oshako, can you look at his computer? Try my best. Good enough. Mr. Aizawa, you- I'm good. Get out of his pit! How are we gonna know if it's fan fiction? 
the author name is probably going to be a pseudonym. There might be some tags at the beginning of it, and the picture on the cover is definitely going to be really bad. Um, Mina, are you a fan of fan fiction? Duh. Um, hey guys, does Twilight count? No, but Fifty Shades of Grey does. Guys, he's got a password on his computer. <sighs> Wasn't his hero name the same as his brother's? Try that. What is it? Ingenium. I'm gonna look at his history. What's AO3? What? Oh, jackpot. Damn it. Oh, Chaco, scooch over. Okay, but are you gonna tell me what AO3 is? It's literally one of the biggest sites for fanfiction. Give me the computer. Check his bookmarks. What kind of tags is he using? Nah, don't tell him. He didn't help look. There's a scary large amount of All Might fanfictions on here. What is this? He's not reading it! He's writing it! I'm confused. Why is Ida writing All Might fanfiction? This doesn't make any sense. Deku's the one obsessed with All Might, not Ida. Oh, Tadpole, you got something to say? Deku's been complaining that Bakugo broke his computer. That makes a lot of sense. I don't even know what- hey, give it. Mr. Aizawa, what are you doing? I'm forwarding it to myself. For what purpose? I'm just grabbing a sweater. I don't want to get a chill. Welcome home. I know this looks bad. Hear us out. What are you doing in my room? Um, we were trying to solve a bat. Mr. Aizawa, are you wearing shoes in my bed? They're hanging off the edge, so technically they're not in the bed. And you moved all my stuff around. That's moved. That's moved. Those books are moved. I know we shouldn't have done this. You are violating my boundaries and my privacy, and this is highly unacceptable. We were trying to solve a bat, and if you had fan fiction in your room. You searched my room for fan fiction? But I mean, we did find it on your computer. You broke into my computer? How did you even figure out my password? Dude, it's your brother's name. Ingenium? Are you serious? And if you're so mad about us being in your computer, why is Deku writing All Might fanfiction on here? As his friend, I cannot answer that question. Okay, okay, so it's clear that All Might fanfiction isn't yours, but um, we still got a bet to solve, so is any of the fanfiction on here? Just, you can- Get out! Get out! Yeah, okay. I'm just- I'm gonna leave the computer right here. Yeah, it's for you. Damn. Are they morons? I would never read fanfiction online. How many bets do we have unanswered now? Too many. Well, should we just quit then? Well, I've got one more if you guys are willing. Ochako, your bets have the highest rate of not being answered. Mina, be nice. Let her finish. I want to know if Deku's natural hair is green. Okay, really interesting bet, but I did stay behind in Ida's room and found out that yes, he does read fanfiction. I didn't even realize you weren't with us. Pay up. Also three bucks in Deku's hair being natural. I doubt he dyes it. Yeah, I just can't see him dyeing his hair. I bet it's natural too. Two bucks. Yeah, but it's green. I have two dollars on it's dyed. Three more dollars on it's dyed. Two more on it's not dyed. And Mr. Aizawa, since you're the only one allowed in the boys' restroom, you're gonna have to go check. Why do I even participate anymore? Bullshit. Aizawa, check the bathroom. You Okay. Hair gel. More hair gel. Who the f uses this much hair gel? 11? 12. 12? Who has. Moisturizing skin cream? No. Advanced healing. Advanced. Does Shigaraki live here? What is it? Dry shampoo. Fuck my eyes. Well, here's Kirishima's. Why is there so much soap? Do they smell that bad? You know what? Forget this. Midoriya, is your hair dyed or natural? It's natural. Prove it. Um, my mom has green hair. And Mr. All Might and Kachan have met her, so they, they can confirm that too. Good enough. So? It's natural. Called it. How did you check? I asked him. But it's green. Sue, your hair is green. I mean, she's got a point, Sue. Oh my god, I didn't realize how late it got. So I think it's time for all of you to go to bed. Everybody pay your debts. How do I lose so much money every time? Don't make bad bets, anti-gravity. Next time we definitely need to choose better bets. Hi, Mr. Aizawa. Good night. Good night. Good night, mm -hmm. sir. Good night, Mr. Good Aizawa. Ball. Mike, gather the adults. I've got a fun activity.